morning, my beautiful farm friends. I'm Gigi Mommel, and welcome to Thornwoodshire Farm. It's a kind of a cold and gloomy day today here on the farm. And I thought I would give you a little history on our flock of birds that we have. Now, I did mention them in, and, and show them off a little bit. Um in my introduction video but they are pretty special to us um everybody except for the five little bantams and our rooster rocket we raised from babies in other words we raised all our ducks from babies and all our hens from babies um rocket and the five little bantams are, are pretty special as well. Um, they came from a pretty horrific situation. Um, our neighbor, a beautiful young couple, had a flock of their own. And another's neighbor's dog came, dogs, they were two of them, I guess, um, came and killed everyone of their flock except Rocket. So he's got some emotional issues, if you um, know what I mean. He is very, very protective of his flock, of his ladies. Now, the Bantams came to us because uh, the neighbor with the dogs decided to try and make up for the um, decimation of the other flock by giving her the Bantams. But she wanted adult, uh, big chickens, not little chickens. So, um, we traded a, a clutch of our chicks for her bantams. And they have become quite the little characters here on our farm. Um, they do not stay in the pen whatsoever. Um, they can fly. And a lot of times we find them up in the trees around the, um, the pens. Now, what's funny is they are smart little critters. Um, they know when it's feeding time. And they will come down and out of the trees or come out of the woods when it's time to eat. And when it's time to go to bed. They do not stay out in the, um woods when it's time to get uh at night they come right up to, and they stay right near the pens at night now these pens are only temporary this is a winter situation um we will be redoing them in the spring if you notice everything is really wet and really icky right now and we will be redoing all of this when it warms up and gets um, nicer outside. Um, I'm not real good at working outside. Right now I'm standing on our porch. Uh, I'm not working. I mean, I love to work outside. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like doing it in, when it's cold outside because it hurts me. But we will be completely redoing the, pen, the uh, chicken, duck, pens in the spring and we're also going to get uh we want to get a mating pair of turkeys and a mating pair of geese to round out our flock um i think after getting the geese and the turkeys i think we will be all set as far as um the flock goes and kind of what we have in mind and I don't know how well this is going to work yet. We have, we're, this is only the second winter with birds. We will be, um, what we are planning on doing is that we have now the Peking ducks are mating pair. We have only two. What we're going to do is we're going to allow them to hatch out, or we're going to hatch out one clutch of 
eggs for them and raise them up until fall and then process them for our freezer. We're going to do the same with the chickens. We are going to raise up one clutch, depending on how many there are that hatch. And, oh, excuse me, a little chill. Um, go ahead, raise them up, and then process them in the fall. Now, our rowan ducks, we do not have a male for. They are just, the girls are basically pets. Um, their company for the Pekings. We have three female Rowans, and their names are Dana, Dana, and Dinah. And they're kind of, uh, I kind of look at them as uh, Queen Pete Pete's ladies in waiting. So they're here just to um, round out the flock a little bit. Just, you know, um, we did have two male. Uh, rowan males, but oh my goodness, no, 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 no. They were the goofiest two males I have ever seen in my ma life. They they are now in our freezer. <laughs> they drove us crazy. They really did. Well, guys, I'm a little cold. I just wanted to rock, show you all, show you the flock a little bit more. They are doing very very well they get they got through the winter very very well i'm very happy with it once we have um the snow goes away and the weather warms up a little bit um we're going to completely like i said redo the pens and make them more comfortable for all the birds and i hope you'll stay tuned for when that happens thank you for joining me today you have a wonderful day my beautiful farm friends and we will see you again soon. Bye.